بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ کنٹینیوئنگ دا ٹاپک آف دا موسٹ اکنامیکل پاور فیکٹر وی ڈیرائیو دس فارمولا ان دی لاسٹ ویڈیو ٹو ڈے وی سی اے نمبر آف نمیریکل پرابلمس لیٹس جمپ ڈائریکٹلی ان ٹو اٹ سو دا کوشچن از دا کوشچن از واٹ دیٹ اے فیکٹری ہیز اے کنیکٹڈ لوڈ آف ٹو ہنڈریڈ کلو واٹس کنیکٹڈ لوڈ آف 200 kilowatts operating at a 0.75 power factor lagging operating at 0.75 lagging power factor and operating with a demand factor of 80% so demand factor is FD I believe whatever it is 80% demand factor is charged by the utility company through a two-part tariff of rupees 1000 per kVA of maximum demand the tariff is what it is 1000 per kVA of the maximum demand plus rupees 10 per kilowatt hours right so this is the tariff the perfect correcting equipment rupees costs rupees 600 per kvr power factor improvement device costs what 600 rupees per kvr with an annual interest and depreciation factor of 10 percent depreciation factor depreciation factor of 10 percent throughout its useful life the load factor of the factory is 65%. The load factor of the factory is 65%. Determine the most economical power factor for the factory and the net savings that may result. That may result. So, do for the current situation first. Do for the current situation. So, the maximum demand. First you have what the maximum demand would be the connected load multiplied with the demand factor this would give you the maximum demand and that is what that would be 160 kilowatts 160 kilowatts now the fixed charges are on the basis of what fixed charges are on the basis of this this thing so 160 kilowatts Per, so this is kVA so so not on this kVA so find these are kilowatts find the kVAs so s 1 let's say is 160 and they are operating at what power factor 0.75 power factor so this gives you what this gives you 213.3 213.33 so now the fixed cost in is on the basis of this thing multiply 1000 this gives you what this gives you 21330 right yes now the variable cost is on the basis of the energy units so the energy units find it out this is for energy unit is the load factor fld into the maximum demand in kilowatts into time this is annual so 8760 so the energy units come out to be 683280 six eight three two eight zero so do this please six eight three two eight zero multiply it with what with rupees 10 so this would come out to be how much double zero six eight three two eight double zero rupees these are both in rupees So uh, you've got your fixed cost, you've got your variable cost. Now uh, the annual, the total cost would be what? The cost of electricity one. This is before power factor correction one, right? So this would be the fixed cost plus the variable cost. And this comes out to be 704, 61, 30 rupees this one is for before power factor correction. We are seeing that at the current scenario this is happening now what do you have we determine the most economical power factor so the most economical would be what this would be cause of phi 2 i would name it and this would be 1 minus so y is what y is rupees 600 per kvr and this is also depreciated by 10 percent similarly x is the amount per kvas so that is what that is 1000 whole squared and this comes out to be the most economical power factor whose value is what whose value is 0.99 lagging 
0.99 lagging. So this was basically before power factor correction. Now I will go what? I will go for after power factor correction. So the new power factor would be 0.99. So have a look. Now the maximum demand is of course the same, but now the KVA rating would change. S2 would be 160 divided by 0.99 in this case. And that comes out to be what? That is 161.6. 161.6. Now, what do you have is you also have to improve, you also have to have the uh, power factor correction equipment. So that is P times tangent of phi 1 minus a tangent of phi 2. So P is 160 and tangent of phi 1 is what? Tangent of uh, phi 1 comes out to be cos inverse of 0.75 which is 41.4. 41.4 and minus tangent of phi 2 which is cos inverse of this thing. I will write over here phi 1 is the cos inverse of the original one that is 0.75 this is 41.4 and phi 2 is cos inverse of the new power factor is 0.99 and this is equal to 8.1 8.1 degrees. So the QC that is the K leading KBRs required this comes out to be 118.65 KVARs 118.65 KVARs now the cost per KVR so the cost of this would come out to be what 118.65 multiplied with 600 why because per KVR cost is what it is 600 uh, where is it? One uh, one hundred and eighteen point. Yes, this is it. This is one eighteen point six five multiply six hundred, and this also has a depreciation factor of ten percent. So also multiply it with a zero point one. This would come out to be seven one one nine rupees. Seven one one nine rupees per annum. Now you go for your fixed cost and your variable cost. So the fixed cost is what? This would be what? This is KVA dependent. So KVAs are 161 in this case. 161.6 multiply it with 1000. This comes out to be what? 161600. 161.6. Now the variable cost would be the same. Why? Because the energy units are the same. We've not changed the maximum demand. We've not changed the load factor. So the variable cost would be the same that is six eight three two eight double zero rupees for the second cost of electricity i would write over here add these two up plus this cost also add this also let's say i name this c1 fixed cost plus variable cost plus c1 c1 is what this is the cost of the the what and the power factor improvement device so this comes out to be how much uh, 7001519 7001519 rupees have a look which one is greater 7001519 so have a look you have saved an amount of money how much have you saved so savings per annum are what they would be c1 minus c2 and this amount is 44000 611 rupees so this much of money you have saved per year by improving the power factor to the most economical one i hope this is clear let's get to the second one <clears throat> a stone crushing plant uses induction motor induction motor drives amounting to a three phase 50 hertz it's a three phase 50 hertz they're talking about load of 200 kilowatts load of 200 kilowatts and it derives its supply from a dedicated 33 kilowatts to 400 33 kilowatts to 400 volts 400 kva utility transformer With a power factor of 0.7 lagging. Power factor is what? It is 0.7 lagging. 
is charged by the utility company through a two part tariff. Tariff is what? The tariff is rupees 1200 per kV of maximum demand, rupees 1200 per kV of maximum demand plus rupees 15 per kilowatt hour. A penalty of rupees 1000 per kVA, penalty of rupees 1000 per kVA based on transformer kVA rating, based on transformer kVA rating is charged is charged for what annually on the amount of percentage power factor less than unity on what on percentage power factor less than unity we'll see this okay we'll see this don't need to confuse it over here the kva rating uh, okay the power factor correcting equipment costs rupees 600 per kvr power factor improvement costs you again the same 600 rupees per kvr with an annual depreciation of 6% of its over its useful life 6% is the depreciation the crushing plant operates 4000 hours annually the time is in hours is what is 4000 hours annually determine the most economical power factor and the net savings that may result assume power loss with the capacitors is one percent power loss is one percent of kvr ratings fine yes so what do you have in this case first of all let us go for the current scenario so in the current scenario we need the maximum demand uh, the maximum demand right so the maximum demand is let's say the same load that is 200 kilowatts because we don't have anything about the demand factor so what can we do is we can find out the uh, so before power factor correction we can find out the kvas that would be s1 which would be 200 divided by the power factor that is operating at it is 0 0.7 so this comes out to be 285.7 285.7 rupees fine yes sim not rupees kvs then you have what the energy units so we are not given anything about the load factor so we'll take the connected load multiplied by the time and this would give us the energy units and this comes out to be eight and five then eight and five eight one two three four five kilowatt hours these are kvs so now you can find out the fixed cost, you can find out the variable cost. Since the existing power is power factor is 0.7, so this is 30% less than unity, so you also have to introduce a penalty. So penalty is what? The penalty is on the power factor percentage that it is less than unity. So have a look, how much current is 0.7, so this is 30% less than unity. So which means you would have a 0.3 multiplied and how much is the penalty that is 1000 per kva and also based on the transformer rating so the transformer rating kva is what it's 400 so you multiply it with a 400 as well and this would give you the penalty which is rupees how much 12 120000 120000 so this would be 120 and 1000 rupees now the annual cost of electricity calculate it please calculate the annual cost of electricity please uh, okay wait a minute okay so 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 you have what the fixed cost is what the fixed cost the fixed cost is on the basis of this kvs so 285.7 multiplied with 1200 this comes out to be what 342840 the variable cost is on the basis of what this is on the basis of these units so you you multiply it with rupees 15 this comes out to be what this comes out to be 1 2 and then you have a number of one two and then you have what how many zeros are here one two three four five six zeros four five six zeros so for the total cost of electricity what do you do is this would be before power factor correction so you add the fixed cost you add the variable cost and you also add the penalty you also add the penalty so adding all the two would result in one two four six one two four six uh two eight 
four zero. So this is before power factor correction. Now what do you have? Go for the second power factor. Go for the second power factor. Uh, and the second one is what you find out the most economical power factor. So that would be for one minus uh, and y is what y is rupees 600 with a 0 0.06 that is the depreciation factor and divided by 1200 whole squared under the root. So this gives you what this gives you cause of phi 2 which is the new power factor and this is the most economical one 0.99 lagging 0.99 lagging. So I don't have ink over here. Let's say I take the red color. So 0.99 lagging. Now we do what we do the calculations based on this power factor. So S2 would now be what? S2 would now be 200 divided by 0 0.99. And this is equal to what? 202. 202 KVS. Similarly, you would have the you would have the fixed cost now that would change so the fixed cost would now change which would be based on 202 multiplied with what with 1200 and that comes out to be uh, with what that comes out to be what 24 24 double zero 24 24 double zero where have they found out yes 242400 242400 rupees this is the fixed cost now you are having power factor correcting equipment qc which is p times so p is what 200 into tangent of phi 1 so tangent of phi 1 would be what it would be cos inverse of 0.7 and then minus tangent of phi 2 so phi 2 would be what cos inverse of 0.99 do the calculations QC comes out to be what I will just write it over here that QC comes out to be 175.5 KVRs. The cost would be what the cost let's say I name it over here let's say uh, or just let's say I name it the cost. So that would be 175.5 these are the KVRs and the cost per KVR is 600 and multiply the depreciation factor is 6 percent so this comes out to be what this was 6318 6318 rupees 6318 rupees similarly what do you have is the units consumed so the 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 variable cost is what the variable cost is depending on the energy units that would be the same that is 8 and 1 2 3 4 5 and whatever it is do the calculations please then you have what you have an energy loss in the capacitor uh, uh, you have an energy loss in the capacitor energy loss in the capacitor is what that is given is 1.1 percent of the uh, uh, 1 percent of the kvr rating so 1 percent of the kvr rating so 1 percent of the kvr rating this would give you the power this would give you the power loss power loss right and then the energy loss in the capacitor let's say this is equal to x so you multiply this x with the time that is operating is 4000 and this gives you what this gives you uh, uh, 7020 7020 these are the number of units that are lost so the energy so the cost due to energy lost in the capacitor you also have to include it so that is 7020 multiplied with 15 and this comes out to be how much 105300 105300 rupees right yes next what do you have you also have a penalty you also have a penalty uh, and the penalty is what that is uh, uh, how much percentage is less than unity so 0 0.99 is only point, uh, point 0.1 percent so 0 0.01 less than unity right so the penalty this is 0 0.01 less than unity and this is based on what the transformer rating which is 400 kva and the amount is what the amount is 1000 so have a look this comes out to be 4000 rupees per annum is that fine it is so which means for the total cost of electricity for the total cost of electricity i would name it cost of electricity too you have to add all the things up fixed cost and based on the kva ratings the uh, this is the cost of the power factor improvement devices 
This the variable cost based on the energy units. Cost due to energy loss in the capacitor and then the penalty also. So you add all these costs and this comes out to be what? 1, 2, 3, 5. 1, 2, 3, 5. And you have what? 8, 0. 1, 8. 1, 8. This is after power factor correction. So have a look which one is greater. So one is greater of course. So savings. How much amount have you saved is C1 minus C2. And the amount that you are saving is 104.792 rupees. This much amount you are saving annually. Is that fine? It is. So if you, if you were to talk about the capacitor, current or this and that. If you talk about the capacitance. If you talk about the capacitance. How much is you need it in, in the farads? So that is basically equal to 1 over 2 pi f into xc, right? Where xc is what? xc is equal to, xc uh, would be equal to the voltage upon current, right? The voltage upon current, yes. Voltage upon current. And the current would come from what? The current would come from KVR rating QC, which is equal to VI. So from here, the current would come out to be, QC upon V. Now this depends on you, your, your, you know, installing the capacitors on the HT side or on the NT side. So let's say if I do the calculations for the HT side first. So uh, for the HT side, the current would be QC. You have got over here is what? Uh, uh, where have I have 175.5 and divide by the voltage on the HT side is 33,000. So this is 30, and that is also KVR. So you do not need to do this. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yes. 33,000 and 175.5. So that is also in KVR. So you do not need to include this. But this is three phase. So you need to multiply it under root 3 over here. So the current comes out to be 3.07 amperes. 3.07 amperes. Now have a look. The voltage is what it is. Uh, X is equal to V upon I. So this is equal to now have a look. You multiply it with a 33,000 divided by I, one, uh, which is 3.07. So the reactance that is XC comes out to be 10.75. 10.75 ohms. Put this 10.75 ohms over here. And this would give you 0 0.3 microfarads per phase. 0 0.3 microfarads per phase. Similarly, if you want to go for the LT side, so again, you have to come in the reverse order. So the current you calculate, which would be 175.5 and divided by the voltage for three phase under root three. And the voltage on the LT side is 400 volts. 400 volts, right? Yes. So if this is in volts, so take this as 10 to the power three over here, right? Yes. So the current comes out to be 253. 253.32 amperes. Similarly, then find out the reactance XC, that would be 1.57 ohms, and then the capacitance from this formula would be 2000 microfarads per phase. So have a look, whatever is the desired thing, wherever is desired, you can put it over there. Right? Yes. The, uh, the current over here is quite high, you know, the current on if you if you're installing it, these are mainly installed in delta. So if you are installing the capacitors on the LT side, what do you have is the current is quite high. So you can install it on the HT side. I hope this is clear. You find it the most economical power factor and the fixed cost is dependent on the what? On the KV rating. The variable cost is dependent on the energy requirement. You add the two. Then you have the cost of the power factor improvement device, add it over there. If you have the penalty involved, add it in the end as well. If you have the cost due to energy loss involved in the capacitance, add it in the end as well. Right? This is how you do it. This is the economic analysis. I finish this video over here. I will see you in the next video very soon where we'll see some examples from the book. So till then, take care of yourselves, everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.